What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold, and today I wanted to show you guys how to efficiently farm the Mr. Pandaria World Boss mounts. Now, before I begin, I do want to say something. You don't want to do this, okay? Do not fucking do this. I, I can guarantee you that my actual audience of people that will do this, that are watching this video, is probably like six people. This video should have six fucking views because of how insane this is to do. Do not do this. It's a complete waste of time. But, if you want, I'll show you how. Now, the Mr. Pandaria World Boss mounts are a drop 1 in 2,000, okay? And because of that, you want to have as many characters as possible to farm them every single week. If you have a character on another server that you don't have any other characters on that is over level 70, you will be able to make a Demon Hunter. You can go through the Demon Hunter starting zone and quickly get that Demon Hunter up to level 100. At level 100, it will be easily able to farm the world boss mounts and also get the coins to farm the mounts again. Now, as you guys can see, obviously, you will probably run out of names if you're doing this on a lot of different servers, and it does not work. Uh, if you don't have a 70 character on the server, you're not going to be able to make a Demon Hunter on there. You can't make a Class Trial character and then make a Demon Hunter. I actually just tried that before I made this video. But after that, you want to go ahead and get all of your characters that you want to do this on. Obviously, every character can do this. There's four of them that you're going to be doing each week. If you do Ruckmar, that's another one. Now, because these mounts are the world boss mounts, they can actually be coined. So that means that you have to get the Elder Charms of Good Fortune and also the Mogu, I think, Coins or Runes of Fate. The uh, bonus roll coins for the beginning of Mists of Pandaria and also the second tier of Mists of Pandaria, Throne of Thunder. So make sure that you get all of your characters that you want to actually have farm this, get those coins. And so I'm going to show you guys how to get those coins first before I show you guys where to actually find the bosses. Now over here in the Timeless Isle is the best place to farm the coins, minus a couple of other places that are really not very reliable, which I'll actually show you one of those afterwards. Now what you want to do over here is you want to go over here, and as you guys can see, these gulp frogs, and you want to kill every single gulp frog, you, you want to kill about a thousand probably 2,000. You probably want to kill 2,000 gulp frogs on each character and that's going to give you enough coins to where you're not really going to have to worry about them for about a year which is about how long it's going to take you to get one of these mounts just by statistics. So you're going to have to get a lot of coins and the reason that we're farming the frogs here is because not only did they drop the um, the uh, lesser charms of good fortune you turn in 20 of them to buy the greater charm or the, the actual elder charm of good fortune but on top of that and there is that crystal right there I did just click uh, if that's up you can go ahead and click that and it allows you to kill these sprites and uh, if you have any sort of like really good AOE like uh, affliction locks have the soul uh, harvest or soul burn or whatever it's one of the gold traits it's fucking ridiculous and so if you have whirlwind as a fury warrior or something else Farming these is going to be very, very efficient, and uh, also you make some gold too at the same time. It's very, very efficient. So basically, you can get the Lesser Charms of Good Fortune here, and also at the same time, you can get Timeless Coins. Now, you need a thousand Timeless Coins in order to buy one Mogu Rune of Fate, and you're going to need an equal amount of Mogu Runes of Fate as that you need. There you go, right there. See, there's the Mogu Runes of Fates. You need a thousand coins, uh, Timeless Coins, in order to buy one coin, so or the seal or whatever. Um, so this is obviously going to take a very, very long time. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at. Now, uh, I'll show you guys where that is on the map, because a lot of people, this is it's been kind of a while since this has been current content, so if you don't know, it's right uh, on the other side of the Celestial Court. You go ahead and talk to this vendor, and she sells them. Now, she does not actually sell the uh, the Elder Charms of Good Fortune. You have to go over to the uh, Valor of Justice Quartermaster over at the Town Long Steps. Now, you have to buy these for 20 of the Lesser Charms of Good Fortune by one of the Elder Charms of Good Fortune. Each week, if you want to do each boss and bonus roll, it, it's going to cost you obviously four coins. So you're going to need two Mogu runes of fate or coins of fate, uh, runes or coins. I, I probably should have figured it out before the video. But you know, two of the Mogu coins, and you're also going to need two of the elder coins. So if you're going to do this for an entire year, you're going to be needing, uh, what did that be, 104 or probably 100 because you're probably going to miss a couple of times. Um, you're probably going to need about 100 of these. So you guys can obviously do the math. It's going to take a very long time. Now, Galleon is the first boss that you, uh, you have to fight here. Now, Galleon is very easy to find. He's right outside. And also, all of these bosses do a slash yell whenever they uh, show up. So the best place to do this, and by the way, he's at the bottom of, of, um, of the Valley of the Four Winds, just in this big opening. You guys will see on the bottom of the map uh, where actually he is. 
Um, so make sure that you have your game sound on. If you're tabbed out and you're just waiting for them to respawn because they will do an emote and they'll yell. They'll be like, uh, give in to your anger if Shah of Anger spawns. And Shah of Anger can spawn in a number of different locations uh, in Kunwai Summit. Now, a lot of these bosses don't really have a lot of health. And as soon as they spawn, they're pretty much attackable besides, I think, Undasta. So as soon as they spawn, you want to make sure that you're running over there as fast as you can so you can get to them as soon as you can and actually hit them because a lot of other people are fucking dumb and so they're just going to pop every fucking cooldown they have and kill these in like two or three seconds. So as soon as they spawn, you have to make sure that you get over there as soon as possible. Now, um, also, uh, I'm trying to think, like, yeah, basically, like pretty much you want to position yourself in the middle of Kunwai Summit. That way, wherever uh, it spawns, you're going to be able to get there in time. That's usually where most other people stand. Undasta is obviously over at the Isle of Giants, all the way at the top of Mr. Pandaria, or the Pandaria Island. And this is one of the uh, one of the bosses that you can use, because uh, Shah of Anger and Galleon, you use the Elder Charms of Good Fate, or um, of, of yeah, I think it's a Good Luck or whatever. Um, you use those, but for uh, Undasta and Nalak, which is coming up next, uh, you use the, uh, the Mogu Runes of Fate. So as you can see, I got something. It wasn't the mount. Uh, big surprise. So um, also, last one here is Nalak. Uh, Nalak spawns right outside Throne of Thunder, um, inside the uh, the foot of Li Shen. Uh, also, like there's a lot of people farming here. So if you have a level 100 character, if you're gonna make new characters for this on other servers, try to make them on PVE servers because sometimes in PvP servers they will kill you. So anyway, guys, I wanted to make a quick video about this. I probably spent a lot of time doing this recently and it's been a complete waste of time. Uh, so if you really have nothing better to do and you want to um, disappoint yourself eight times each week, uh, you know, obviously you loot the boss and you bonus roll and you're gonna be disappointed eight times each week. Uh, you can go ahead and do this and it's going to be a really good way to kind of do that. So while you're not getting legendaries, you can also not get world boss mounts. So anyway, guys, if there's anything that I left out or I forgot in this video, I'm sure that you'll remind me in the comments. So go ahead and do that if I did forget anything, but I don't really think I did. This isn't really very complicated. It just takes a long time. The best thing to do, honestly, is to just farm, uh, farm it on as many characters as possible. And if you have a character, um, you can make demon hunters, and demon hunters are a very good way of farming it too. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much all I've got. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and like, comments, and subscribe.